Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be modifying a strife and first we're going to start with opening up the blaster and doing some electrical and mechanical mods. First remove the screws holding together the shell and simply open up the shell. Make sure you lift straight up and down so you don't stress out any parts of the shell. Next, remove the top and bottom sling points. And remove the jam door as well. Remove the screws holding in the motor assembly. And remove this lock. It's useless. Throw it out. Pull out the motor assembly and remove this front barrel piece. We're going to need to remove these two screws as well. These hold in place the wire retention piece, which you can take out and put aside. Pull out the piece and save it with its screws. Now you can take out the motor and remove those screws and put them aside. All of the black screws are the same size in the strife, so it doesn't really matter where you put them. Now we have to remove the rest of the locks in the blaster. On the top is one mechanical lock associated with the jam door. And we have to remove parts of the trigger to get to the rest of the locks. Take off the trigger return spring and put it aside for now. Just make sure everything still moves. And then remove the trigger retention screw. And remove the trigger as well. Now remove these two locks holding this lock in place. Take out those pieces. It should be about three parts and maybe one or two little springs. And discard of them. They're of no use to us. Remove this screw holding in place the thermistor board. and pull it out of its place. Now using a pair of wire cutters, snip the lead coming out of that thermistor. Leave as much metal on the blaster itself because we're going to need that later. Now cut the orange wire and the red wire from this lock. And cut the black wire from the thermistor board. Now remove this lock and snip the blue wire as close to the lock as you can. And discard of that lock. Now spin the scissors around and pull that rubber part off of the wire. Glue over the wires in the wire retention trench just to make sure that they stay in place. Gently screw in two or three screws to the motor because we will be removing them later. This just gives us an idea of how long we need the wires to be. Now wrap this wire around the lead that came from the thermistor. You can solder this in place but I'm just going to use hot glue because I don't want fumes in my house right now. If you do use hot glue, make sure it's on there very tightly and you put a good amount of hot glue there. All the way around. This is a 4 AA battery battery tray. I'm using a 9 volt connector to connect it to the rest of the circuit but we need 
those wires to go inside of the blaster for this external battery tray. A drill should work here. Drill into the rear of the stock. And then pull that wire through. Now connect this wire to an extension wire if you need to, like I did here, and just twist and tape them together. Roll the scissors around the wire insulation and pull it off with your thumbnail. Now twist and tape the red connector of the battery tray to this wire here. And twist and tape. Now take another long piece of wire connect it to the red or to the black lead of the battery tray and twist and tape. Run it through the hole in the back of the blaster and pull it all the way through. Now we're going to connect this to the black end of the motor assembly. So essentially connecting the black wire to the black wire. As seen here. Twist and tape. And we can move on to the next part. We need to connect the red wire to the blue wire. So twist an extension wire onto the red lead of the strife motor. and pull the blue wire up through the handle and connect it to the green wire. Now, near the top of the blaster where the jam door will be, there is a wire trench. We've added some heft to these wires, so you're going to have to get them back into place. Simply push them in, use a screwdriver, use your fingers, using a little bit of force here is okay. Now put the wire retention piece back in place, and then screw it back in using the two screws that you just took out. Now glue in any loose wires. I put a dot of glue in the handle here, and some glue near the top. Let it dry, and we can continue. Put the trigger back in place, and reattach the trigger return spring. Make sure you put it on the correct pylon in the rear of the blaster. And make sure that the lever on the top interfaces correctly with the trigger. I pulled the blaster here, and it snapped into its correct position. Now undo the screws to the motor and put on the front barrel assembly again. It should slide right in and simply slide the assembly over the screw ports. Now permanently screw the motor assembly in place. Take the trigger retention screw and screw it back in place. and give it a test run. Sounds pretty good. Put the jam door back in place, the top sling attachment point, and the bottom sling attachment. And put the shell back together. Screw it back in. Put some batteries in the external battery tray 
and just put some tape on it for good measure. These batteries are going to be held in place later on in the mod. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed.